What is up YouTube? So, just got the tires mounted onto the rims. They're looking great. It's time to get them mounted onto the car. So I don't know if you guys have a ritual that you like to do before you mount wheels onto a car, but uh, I always like to put the tire shine onto the wheel before I actually uh, put take the car off its jacks. And that's because once the ground starts compressing the tire, it's easy to miss some spots. Uh, so I always like to do that before letting the car off the jack. All right, so let's get these wheels mounted. Like I said, I went with a square setup instead of staggered. So I don't have to worry about putting which wheel in which spot. My uh, tire shine of choice is Armor All Extreme Tire Shine. I also really like using Dub, uh, but this is what I have on hand right now. After I lower the car from its jacks, then I'll actually uh, torque the wheel bolts. Right now, just a quick rub. Just get off the uh, tire shine from the rest of the wheel. Three more to go. I gotta say, doing that brake painting job was a really good idea because, because these wheels definitely show the brakes a lot more than the original factory wheels. And now they look great behind the, these set of wheels. Again, I keep mentioning it, but I really gotta thank Mod Bargains for hooking me up, especially uh, Jurian, because the wheels that I bought were actually out of stock and he actually hooked me up with these new, uh, new Sportline 8S wheels. So I really appreciate him for that. That's two. I'm telling you, these, uh, this wheel and tire combo is really light. I can grab it with one hand and I can just lift it just like that. So I'm guessing this is probably around 40 pounds or so because that's just about what I can uh, curl. So there it is, super hot and humid day. As you can see, I'm dripping sweat, but uh, couldn't be any happier. Well, tell me what you guys think. I'm super happy with them, they look great. Oh, forgot the last final piece. Gotta put the BMW center caps on them. Gotta torque down the wheels. BMW says it's 85 foot pounds. Do it in a star pattern. You gotta have the BMW valve stem caps as well, made of stainless steel. It's the little things in life, right? Let me show you guys a walk around. Ooh, I dripped some sweat onto the GoPro. Here they are. So I'm just gonna go take a quick spin around the block just to show you guys how the brake pads will just wear away very quickly at the paint that got onto the rotors. So I'll be right back. So this is the final product. These are eight and a half wide by 45 offset. As you can see, they still uh, sit into the fenders just a little bit. In the front, it's eight millimeters farther out than OEM. And in the back, it's five millimeters further out than OEM. So maybe I'll get a set of spacers or something if it bothers me, but at least right now I know I won't have to roll the fenders. I think that BMW decal really sets it off. I really like it. That painting project definitely came out well. So that's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Thank you guys for keeping up with uh, my BMW Z4 with my Golf R. And I always appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure what's next for this car, but maybe you guys can give me some ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.